Hi, this is Elaine with expressionsbyelaine.blogspot.com. Um, today I'm going to make a card, an A2 card, using the teddy bear parade cartridge. But I'm not using a teddy bear. I'm actually going to use the um, balloon animal from the clown, which is button number eight. And the balloon animals right here. I did use um, the Cricut craft room uh, to cut it out so I didn't have to cut out a bunch of uh, pieces unnecessarily and it was really quite easy to use. I'm using an A2 size card which is uh, four and a quarter wide by 11 long. The next layer is the premium textured cardstock, the super assortment coordinations. Um, I got this at Joann's. And it's in the tan color. And I inked the edges with the Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink. And this piece is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I did a little, a little smaller than, I didn't use the quarter, I used the eighths for measurements. And my next layer would be through this designer paper here. This is from My Mind's Eye. It's from the Lime Twist designer pad. It's got a lot of really nice colors. A lot of colorful paper, nice cool designs. And um, I don't remember where I got that. Maybe um, Archivers, maybe, or one of the main stores. <laughs> I don't remember. And this piece is um, four inches by five and a quarter. And I also cut out a little border strip with the Stampin' Up scallop punch. That's right here. And that's going to go at the bottom here. This is my first video for making a card, so. A little nervous. And I'm making this card for the Pause, Dream, and Joy Challenge blog. I'm on the design team over there, and this week's challenge is to use ribbon. So this is gonna be my piece of ribbon. It's going to go across the bottom here. I did mess up earlier and had to redo my video, and so I have glue on there already. I should say ATG. So I'm going to put this right down here. And I already put my bow on it to save time. Put the more ATG on the back the ribbon so it sticks. And I also um, ink the edges of this piece as well with the Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink. And here's my little balloon animal that I turned out really cute. And I use the Cuddlebug Swiss Dots folder for, for him. And I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday on this one. It's from the Make-A-Wish set from Cards TV Stamps. It says Happy Birthday right here. And I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink with my Fiskars stamp thingy. I love this thing, it works great. And I do put this on an old mouse pad to give it a little cushion.
It really makes it stamp a lot better when you put that the mouse pad under it. Gives it a better result. Okay, and I have my um, little doggy on foam tape. I have it um, doubled over, so it's two thicknesses. I just love these little balloon animals, so I thought this would make a really cute card. Because when you have parties, you, a lot of people have balloon animals. And I have some buttons to put over in the corner. I'm using glue dots. I found these at Costco. They come with two of the mini glue dots, one removable, and two for craft. The craft one's a little bit bigger than the other ones. And I'm going to stick my little buttons down with this. These buttons, I forget what the brand they are, but I always find them at Walmart and Joann's in the sewing section. And they're really cute. They're nice little small size. So this challenge runs for um, Monday through Sunday. It's at pawsdreamandjoychallenges.blogspot.com. Here it is. Turned out cute. So I hope you can stop over and join us and uh, join in on the challenge with us. So I hope you like it. Thanks. Bye.